Have you ever encountered someone who seems to perpetually dwell in the doldrums of life, exuding an atmosphere of gloom? Such individuals seem to have devised an adept strategy for making their existence distressingly bleak, often casting a shadow over those around them. Today we delve into why people might unconsciously adopt a blueprint that begets desolation, how that mechanism operates, and, if you recognize yourself in this description, why you might consider altering your path. The trade-offs necessary for extricating oneself from this quagmire of misery will also be examined. At first glance, it seems counterintuitive to associate any form of benefit with feelings of distress. However, surprising as it may seem, misery does come with its peculiar set of rewards. In the throes of suffering, individuals may perceive themselves as unique, perhaps even beleaguered, distinguishing themselves from the masses. If one's misery emanates from uncontrollable external circumstances, it can be hoisted as a flag of righteousness, declaring the individual's correctness in having such formidable adversaries. By attributing the root of misery to external factors, the onus of introspection and change can be conveniently sidestepped, alleviating personal responsibility. Misery can often serve as a comfortingly predictable constant. To eliminate it would require embarking on an uncertain journey into uncharted territories, potentially unveiling hitherto unexplored facets of oneself. Misery often appears as the easier route. Genuine happiness is a rare natural state, those who attain it usually do so through persistent effort and the cultivation of effective strategy. Methods for orchestrating your misery. Engage in pessimistic self-questioning, ask yourself disheartening questions such as, what could possibly go wrong today? What should I feel guilty about? Or why am I always the victim of bad luck? Establish vague, unreasonable expectations and goals. By setting unattainable goals, you guarantee failure. Ambiguous expectations ensure that even if you do achieve them, you can deny their fulfillment. Assume the worst, opt for the bleakest interpretation of any event. For instance, if a group of teenagers outside a store burst into laughter, convince yourself that you are the subject of their amusement. Cling to past traumas, let past hurts hinder your progress by ruminating on life's injustices or resisting change under the pretext of tradition. Reasons to consider abandoning misery. Misery is a leading contributor to suicide. Choosing life entails shedding your shroud of misery. Assuming responsibility for your life, particularly your emotions, empowers you and places you in control, eradicating misery-inducing practices, strategies to counteract misery-inclined decisions, implement SMART, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, goals. Recognize and resist emotional tendencies that divert you from your objectives. Assume responsibility for your life, especially your emotional well-being. This requires substantial effort, but yields significant rewards. Though this discussion may seem dispassionate or even harsh, it is essential to underscore that this perspective is not meant as a gauge to judge others but as a mirror for self-examination. Adverse circumstances do befall virtuous individuals, and extending a helping hand when possible is a commendable practice. However, if you encounter someone steeped in persistent misery, maintaining a healthy distance is advisable to shield yourself from their pervasive gloom and emotional contagion more potent than one might anticipate.